say that um, the, the, one of the bigger issues about this that I definitely want to take a closer look at would be the, the drawing of the map, the finalization of the map. I know that it's, it's been discussed. We have a map on, on paper. It can be amended. It is something that in talking with the folks uh, in my district, they did want uh, us to take a closer look at how that's, those lines are drawn. Right. Um, whether, whether we were going to try to do that tonight and then finalize it at this meeting, you know, I, I don't know if all the T's and all the I's, I's might get crossed. So, right. um, um, would like to discuss it further, maybe. At a and because you're, you're new, especially in for Patrick's sake, mm -hmm. um, is being making sure that he understands a lot of the because he's going to be one that's going to be voting on this and having to live with that vote. And so I want to make sure that he understands all the details that, 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 that are involved with this. Yeah, absolutely. I'm coming into it right, uh, right at about 80, 85% so that. So um, right. an opportunity to catch up to that would, would be great. Right. I would appreciate the opportunity to discuss it further at the retreat. Right. But I think it's a good move. I think it's we're headed in the right direction. Uh, I agree. Uh, but if if uh, a couple of things could be tailored, maybe more to suit Hey Hara to make it better, I'm definitely on board with that. When is the retreat? It is the Saturday, February fifth. February fifth, sixth if necessary. February fifth, which is a Friday. Correct. And that is uh, one of the meetings. Next month. Next month's meeting, the work session is on the 1st, uh, which is Monday, and the council meeting is on the 4th. Okay. Which is Thursday. This would actually be after that meeting. Well, let me, I'll, I'll put it this way. First of all, I absolutely respect everybody's opinion up here. I think uh, I serve with a great group of people up here. I'll tell you what, I, uh, I'm not only honored, I'm, I, I learn every time I do it from everybody. I'm, and I'm going to learn from my neighbor and, and new councilman elect here as well. And I look forward to working with him on that. And about 99 times out of 100, we would come in here and everybody would speak the logical points that they did about this tonight. And I would agree with you. But I disagree tonight, and I'll tell you why. This is the, the I. You could argue that the I's have been crossed and, and dotted, and the I's have been dotted and the T's have been crossed. And my I's have crossed. <laughs> All that happens, they get you ducks in a row or whatever, that's the thing you want to say. Uh, that's been going on for about 15 years. Granted, that has not been going on with this particular council. So a lot needs to be, a lot needed to be done, a lot needs to be done uh, with this council. It doesn't matter if it's it's a good argument to say it's been going on 15 years and that's true, but that does not negate the fact that you need to take the bull by the horns with this group and make sure that you've got everything in line like you're talking about. However, I think that's been done. And with great respect to our new councilman, uh, I, I understand, I came up with a similar situation. I probably, it was similar, but not as, as daunting as this one. My very first meeting, we were uh, shooting fire back at one another about garbage, mm -hmm. and uh, and that was my first my first meeting, which was fine. It turned out fine. Uh, that's, I don't see it as a problem, but it was uh, but it was tough for the first meeting, and it turned out fine. But uh, I, you know, with that in mind, I think we can get this done now. I think we've we've heard. I concur. We've heard uh, Councilman Barfields and uh, Councilman Alex comments and they may uh, uh, still disagree with me and that's fine but I disagree respectfully I think we need to move forward with it uh, I think we can make the changes that we need in the map they're relatively simple uh, really what we're trying to do with that is to um, eliminate residential properties owned by people who had some uh, in my opinion unfounded concerns however they're concerns and I'm willing to bend on that so we can change the map. We can do that between, between now and Thursday night and come up with an acceptable uh, map. Um, board members can be nominated and talked about and discussed. Um, that, that's really, as I see it, those are really the only two issues that need to be hammered out. Um, there could be a few other items that we could talk about in amending and tailoring, as we've talked about, we have a, an ordinance that's ready to go. It could be ready to go. 
but that's not anything that was made up by the city council or the city in Ahira. It was taken from another city or the state, from the state, the state form. And that's been unaltered as far as I know to date. We could uh, make, as long as they're legal and you go along with the law itself, we can make, uh, we can tailor it to Ahira's needs. I think all that can be done and we can get this thing started by Thursday night. What's the hurry, you're going to ask? That's going to come up. It's not a hurry. It's just something I think we're ready to do. I'm not in a hurry. I just think it's something we're ready to do and uh, start making, you know, let, let ADDA flourish starting at the beginning of 2016 as close as possible. If it doesn't work out that way, then great. We'll, we'll go to a retreat and we'll talk about it and hammer out what you think we need to do. But uh, I think it needs to be done this week. So, so, so what, do you, what do you actually propose? You propose that you put that in formation as a person? Yes. You're talking about the map and the council? Yes. Well, see, that, that's what I'd have. I'd have a more major problem about the council because, number one, I've heard no discussion that we've had about people that are going to be on the council. I would think that this is something that we would need to have a list of people that we can vet in some way amongst us. Um, because I, I, would, I would hope that there's not a list that's already been made without discussion. Um, and so... Well, are, are names going to be finalized on Thursday? Is well, that see, that's, that, that's, that's yes. what he's proposed. Okay. And so, what, what are those names? I don't, I don't even know. We don't. It's not... It's it, 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 to be... The the right? Well, that's right. That's well, when, I, when yeah, I first okay. started talking, that was one of the things that I brought up, that we're, we're at that stage. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and so, we can, we can, I, can, I can say that if you wanted to vet some names tonight, if we could be given a list of people of probable candidates, and then, but then I would want to be able to look at that list and have some time to think, who's not on this list? That may need to be on this list, or who might be a better fit? Um, you know, I, I would kind of like to have some input on that, being a representative of my district and, and, and kind of using my background and my knowledge and Terry being able to use his background and his knowledge of people in town and, and you and, and Patrick just to make sure that, that we've got the right list of people because this is going to be a very important group that starts us up and I certainly want to make sure we want to make sure that we have the right list of what seven that's what it's supposed to be six and a member of the council member of the council right well those six people that are out there um, I would I would like for people to know that we all had some some input on that and the vetting of that was was uh, something that was discussed um, because I don't know all this I, I mean I, I know that I've heard some names being brought up um, that may be a, that may have been approached but I've never seen any list and that's something that I just don't know well, that's, that that's what I would say we would we could start that tonight if you right. want to. If that's what you guys want what, to do. What is, who's, well, I, first I just want to say, I'll make sure if I can, um, I'm on the other side of that. If the two concerns are the map and the board members, my concern is the map. Because in my travels around my district, the, there were, and even at the informational meeting, there were some people that showed up that were very vocal about not wanting to be included in the district. And if you look at the district and you look at the purpose of the DDA, I think a lot of towns just say, oh, it's everybody. We're all hey hire. We're all responsible for the, the health and the growth of Hayhara, so let's all be in the DDA, you know, the map. Um, the way it was, was cut out certain people and left other people, I think it, it left some, uh, some bones to pick with, with at least a few of my folks in my district. So when I did travel around, I, I, as a representative of those folks, if they don't want to be there, it's partly my job to come here and say, there's people in my district that don't want to be on the map. If, by, if it's any way possible they can be removed, I certainly want to do that. So, and if that can be done before Thursday, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, that's actually the way it was originally done. Um, <coughs> most people, um, Tifton, I think, is one, or Thomas, I can't remember, they, they just include everybody. I talked with a former city manager uh, who lives in town, uh, and he, he knew a map existed. Of course, we've, we've searched through the records, and he thought that it delineated a specific area. When I went back to a former clerk's uh, catalog of, of the minutes uh, from about 1970 onwards, what I found was uh, a motion uh, back in the early 80s 
uh, where they wanted to do some business outside of a designated area and actually just designated the borders of the town to, uh, to be the DEA area. Whether or not that was changed, uh, it was Marilyn Gray. Her, her notes did not indicate that. And they went up to 1995, I believe. And I did a pretty good search of the minutes after 95 because they're, they're all at City Hall. So I didn't find anything after that. So it leads me to believe, at least, that the original DDA's areas were the borders of the town. Mm -hmm. But uh, that certainly is not to suggest or mean that that cannot be changed and that that is not something that needs to be different. Uh, because I think the panel uh, talked about quite extensively uh, back in November that a lot of thought and time needed to be put in the map. And I'm certainly not suggesting that that was not done uh, last year. But uh, this map is as the council creates it. And if you want the map to be the town, then that will be the borders of the DDA area. If you want it to be a specific area, then that will be the borders of the DDA area. So. I'll go ahead and say again, it doesn't make any difference what's inside the DDA area and what's outside of the DDA area with the only respect that there are things that the DDA could not do if it were a smaller area than the town for properties outside of this area. So it doesn't adversely affect anybody. And I think we covered that one right. in excessive and exhaustive detail uh, back in November as well. But uh, that's all I'll add as far as I don't want to belabor any points, Jonathan, or, or hold up anybody's supper, but uh, a, ta if a tax district, I know, I know I said the word, I'm just going to say it. If, if taxes are levied inside the DDA, it, wouldn't that be one effect on residences that are inside the, the DDA? Two, the two concepts are actually not connected. Okay. A tax district is a separate thing. Yeah. Now, a tax district boundaries can coincide with the boundaries of the DDA. But they don't necessarily have to. Nothing in state law that says they have to. Okay. And the tax districts would not be something that the DDA actually is enforced to create. So the DDA tax districts would have to be enforced by the city. Itself. Okay, I think then one of the common misconceptions that are out there are that if you're included in the DDA map, you're going to get taxed. And we, we, you're tried to counter, we tried to counter that, but yeah. you know, there was so much misinformation Dude, that was circulated. It was very difficult to move from the room. Yeah, well, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm getting it worked out. So uh, <laughs> we'll just do it one person at a time. <laughs> But, you know, I had talked to some people about it, and they said, well, they understood what I was saying, and they had went to the meetings, and, mm -hmm. but they still felt more at ease if they wasn't in it. It's, it's yeah, yeah, right. So yeah. the map is how the council is wrong. The, the, the perception was that the council was going to create the DBA to tax, mm -hmm. create tax. Mm -hmm. If that was the case, the council, all the council had to do was raise the millage. Right. But I mean, it seems like that's why you want to have the whole town in the map is so the DDA could then participate and help any property in the map, right? Could they help a property that's not inside the map, Jonathan? Uh, no, the borders of the DDA are defined uh, as, as they're drawn in the mm -hmm. enacted ordinance. Okay. So if the borders of the DDA are the town, then every, ta every property parcel within the jurisdiction would have the benefit of perhaps receiving assistance. If the borders are smaller than the town, then those properties that would not be included within the DDA obviously would be excluded from any type of uh, assistance that the DDA would be able to provide. Now, granted, if one meal was about $65,000, that tax district, how much money is that? If you got a small boundary within the city, you mm -hmm. created a referendum to tax it. How much money are you really going to generate? Now, that's really hypothetical. I don't even <laughs> think I'd quantify that. Yeah. But I mean, I, there's no reason for right. a town to say, hey, how are you have a tax district? Right. I mean, I, can I say it any plainer than that? But there's absolutely no reason and for a tax district. I was interested in that the man from Tipton said they did all of their development and renovation in their town without creating one tax district. Sure. No reason. That, and and, and it's, it's generally used as a mechanism for access to dollars for people to develop and redevelop. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and if somebody wants to be taxed, 
They can request it to the city, but it's at their request, not the city's. Sure, I haven't heard that. The tax district in the box or at the request of yeah. property owners. Yeah. Property owners, property owners themselves. Yeah. Well, um, then let me go on the record and say I think I can probably get the map issues resolved by going back to the folks in my district who are concerned and um, maybe tailoring it, see what we can do, and then maybe being ready by Thursday. And, and as it relates to the board members, I feel comfortable there are plenty of qualified, educated, um, you know, business-like folks out there in Hanar that are, that are going to be more than willing to help. So, but uh, any more time that we could have, I would feel comfortable. But then again, I'm, I am prepared to grab a whole lot more. And Ken, because and, and because of the fact that because of the fact that that you can change this, I mean, we could go ahead and approve. Well, we've already approved the map, haven't we? And we haven't approved the map. That was going to change it. It's not really it's set in stone until, well, it's actually never set in stone, but it's, I mean, until the ordinance itself is actually passed with the version, That's with right. the final version that we, we approved. We did approve. It's not done. But we did, I think, officially approve a version of a map right. to be a part of the deal. So that's, that's been done. Right. An adjustment of that can become later on, and we can adjust it. Like which is a, which it could be a part of discussion. So on Thursday night, a map would not even be a discussion because that's already been done. Doesn't right. have to be. No, this right. this map was approved. I mean, we could go ahead with that and say it 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 in keeping with. It, no, it doesn't have to be. But it wouldn't bother me to be, you know, in keeping with what we've discussed with right. the public. Uh, you know, <coughs> I feel like it's being expected to be changed. So might as well go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh, it can. Right. Uh, yeah. So so then the next issue would be the council itself. Right. If, if we already approved the map, the board, then, yeah, the board. And, um, and the board would have to be the next issue right. that you're saying that we could make a move on, on Thursday. Absolutely. And have we, and again I go back, <clears throat> how do you start that process? Has it been started? Right now, we just started. I believe, like in the mayor said, he's. Has there a list of people? There is not exist that's being put out. But just the mayor said he's going to do it. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Well, I have uh, made the list that I would nominate the people. Right. I don't and know. I mean, I figured all the only thinking about a board member, so I was going ahead and do it myself, too. Right. Because I knew I'd want to put people on there. I, I, and I would have to vote on it. I just want to say, I thought everybody was doing this already. Right. I, so that that's you know if no if nobody has then that's fine. But and I understand well, you come on back. I thought I thought everybody we've been talking about this for right. we, we started about this in the latter part of 2014. Right. Well, what's the yeah, makeup what? of the board? Do you, I mean, can you tell me? I'm this? sorry. What's the makeup of the board? How many members? Six members, six members, and one city council. So there's so seven members. members. Or that's six, and then a city councilman? Right. Okay. And the six have to have like some certain qualifications, or are they? Yes. Uh, yeah. Could you pull it up? There's yeah, a criteria for them here real quick. I read over it. I went to the informational meeting. I just can't uh, pull it up immediately. But that's that. While he's looking that up, I just want to clear it up. That's uh, if you have it, that's fine. Well, One I thing that I felt that I believed, and that's why I brought this here tonight, thinking that well, we've we've done everything. Uh, no, not everything. We still have some things to hash out. And hence, we're discussing here tonight about the board members and the map. I mean, anything else you want to bring into it? But uh, you know, I, I believed that this was something that, as we put in, the, as we established a list. I don't know when we established that last year. We kind of came up with a uh, an idea for four, five, or six uh, steps. Not a list, right. but steps of, the, of what we were going to follow. And a part of that, part of that, those steps is to eventually ultimately nominate and solidify this ordinance with complete with uh, board members so right. i've been you know i thought everybody was thinking about that as, as yeah. well as all the other steps so really 
the month that we approved the map, the next month we were going to do the board members. Okay. And that's, that's why I had already started making my list or okay. making a list of people that I thought would be good for the board. Right. And then we got changed. Right. From the August uh, memo that went out to the council, um, the discussion for the Downtown Development Authority on the September agenda was the next step, which was to nominate seven members. And in that memo, it says that uh, members can be either one of four qualifications. Taxpayers residing in Hayhire is the first. Owners or operators of businesses located in the DDA area and taxpayers residing in Lowndes County. That is the second. So that is owners or operators of businesses located in the DDA area and taxpayers residing in Lowndes County. The third is a combination of the first two. And the fourth is an elected official within the city provided there is only one elected official on the board. There's also a caveat to that um, that I went on to say after that. It says at least four of the seven must have economic interests in the revitalization or redevelopment of downtown. There is an exception to the law that states one member of the board who resides outside the county could be appointed to the board provided, however, that they have a business that is within the media area. And I thought, and I thought about this process about when we would get to the point to start a formal process of coming up with these names. I mean, I have thought about people. I know you thought about people. Terry might have thought. We all thought about this. But but it just seems to me there needs to be some kind of formal process for that. For instance, uh, if we were to get together and and and, and everybody submit a group of names that we make a master list because everybody's list might not be the same i might have some ideas you would have some ideas the mayor city manager certainly will have ideas based on their knowledge and the criteria and that we combine that list and go through each one and then come up with from a large list of nominees a group of six people who we feel and can agree fit the best. And that's a process of, of vetting that to create a, a six-member board, um, and, and, and that's, that, that, that takes some thought. I haven't formally written down all these people. And I would, I would, if we could come up with a process, for instance, if we could approve a process to do this, that we could act on in the February meeting to say, between now and February meeting, we, we all submit to the city manager a list of nominations from each city, city council. And then from that list, they combine that list, and then we can have that formal <coughs> and bring it before the group, and we can vet it right there. We can vet it at the next business meeting. But to throw all that out there at one time and to get that done by Thursday, I, I don't have any issue with that. The only thing that I would suggest is, is that names be submitted by this council. I would not right. be in a place to submit names as staff. Right. Um, my function uh, will be, if the authority is created, to service uh, and provide assistance, technical assistance to that board. To, um, well, I would think we would submit that. names to you, and, I and you make sure that they meet the criteria. The criteria. That's right. And I, but, I, but as far as nominating, I, I would. Right. That's a function of the council. I would prefer okay. that y'all do that. Mayor as well. No, the mayor. The mayor is a member of the council, so he can submit. The mayor can submit can names. Create a, your own. Right, and and you know the council can submit names, um, and uh, y'all can vote on them one one at a time, or an entire slate, or however you want to do it. Good method within the um, law. I would think we might find that once we all come up with our list and we put all those lists together that we might find that it's a short